All right, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well Cancer Rising. Our weekly general tarot reading May 25th to May 31st, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a private reading, uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase a search. So without further ado, let's move to the Cancer reading and the first card which stands for the topic of your week Cancer, that is to be the King of Swords. Followed by the energies which is feeding and supporting the topic here, we do have the Six of Wands, followed by the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week, that will be the Wheel of Fortune. Moving next, we do have the Gifts and the Blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week, that will be the Tree of Cups, and then it is the impression that you are going to leave into the people around. That will be the Two of Pentacles and the last one, which stands as the guidance the Tower is offering. We do have the Page of Swords, so those are uh, those six cards. Right, so uh, that will be quite of a narrow week for you, Cancer, because it does look like that... Um, well, I would say that you are going to make a significant progress into your direction, but as that significant progress is done, it will demand even more devotion into the endeavor that you that you are chasing career wise or relationship wise that is so we do have the energies here of the six of wands and the um general situation or what the week is going to be with the king of swords so pretty much what that happens it is that throughout this week <clears throat> uh all of your actions are going to be appropriately assessed from the universe or from your boss or from your partner, if you will. And uh, you are pretty much going to, or those actions are going to be recognized for what those actions are. So in other words, if your actions are conscientious, then that will be the recognition of them. If you, if you do stupid actions, then stupid is going to be the recognition of them. And uh, those energies are exactly going to give you the appropriate reward for those actions. <coughs> Excuse me, but should you not slack and should you give everything you got into the development of your career or the development of your relationship? And now, as we are saying, developments of your relationship, those energies are going to make you really stand on a pinnacle, especially if you are single. That being said, you are to attract a lot of attention and it will be highly advisable here to make use of that attraction that you are going to incorporate for throughout the week because... Um, with the Six of Wands, once again, people and their actions have been... Um, just one second to muffle the voice here of my computer. Um, people and their actions have been recognized for what they truly are. And the reciprocal rewards comes about. That itself leads to the situation itself, which is the situation of the King of Swords. And that is very important. So this recognition and this um, acknowledgement will put you in a position of power, all right? Uh, um, uh, and as a position of power, I mean that you will pretty much going to have the means, the awareness and the knowledge to effectively accomplish things, to effectively, oh my God, to effectively accomplish consolidation in relationship, to effectively accomplish um, a project to effectively accomplish a stray for a promotion and so on and so forth. So all of that combined, I mean, the awareness, your actions, uh, their rewards, uh, uh, help as well may come about. Your recognition will give you uh, the, uh, how can I say, the perks through which you can establish a very effective drive, very effective actions moving on forward into the future toward the ultimate goal that you have placed important thing to be said about the king of swords though it is that you gotta take your time because the most appropriate or the most effective way can only be reached by a careful and thorough analysis of how how much and what kind of a leverage you do have how to use it and when to use it as well so it's while you are to be gifted with power throughout this week it's very important to know how to use that power to its most advantage and to its most um how can i say effectiveness 
So moving next, we do have the challenges uh, that you will need to overcome. That is the Wheel of Fortune. So a couple of challenges. First of all, first of one, oh my God, first of the challenges here, it is the dynamic itself. So this is going to be crazy week. Many things are going to happen around and you are going to have many um, chores and tasks to tackle with career-wise or relationship-wise. So the first challenge is to manage your time in order to find the right way, you know, to put the careful analysis and find the right way how to um, move forward with your career or with your relationship. Because otherwise you can really uh, literally drown into the activities that are going to swarm your life here. So you have to be very careful you know how how devoted you are to everything that happens around with the wheel of fortune is very important to be aware or to have that mental awareness which of everything that it is going on it is your rare opportunity to make a life uh, a once in a lifetime change if you will because this is what we are talking about here once in a lifetime change or progress that uh, you can uh, you can accomplish throughout this week and the other thing it is um, the time management but I think I already touched on that with the first with the dynamic itself so yeah it's, it's time management pretty much and instead of being scattered all around you should be um, focused on one specific fulcrum or have a narrow goal or narrow mind I don't know how to say it really in English so moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that uh, Taro is uh, saying that you are to enjoy. A couple of gifts and blessings, first of, uh, first of which it is the uh, sharing of visions with everybody around. So people, pretty much everybody around will think that you or will see that you are doing nothing wrong. Whatever you are doing, that that power you do have, you do deserve it. And uh, whatever or whatever way you decide to use that power it is within your right to use it so no opposition whatsoever if not anything else there are those who can help you with uh, accomplishing your goal or, or moving forward to achieve a milestone will be there to help you and the other thing that these uh, three of cups offers you as a gift and blessing is a very fast initial results okay so whatever you decide to do you are to um, accomplish very um, how can i say yeah well, well pretty much you're going to start seeing results immediately uh, that are to be reciprocal to your actions uh it's very important here however not to get yourself lost into uh into the initial results but keep in mind that there is still a lot to be done so it's pretty much do not get deceived that everything is going to be easy along the way towards your goal because that may not be the case you are experienced just the luck of the beginner here okay so moving next we do have the impression that you're going to leave into the people around that will be the two of pentacles very flexible type of an individual uh, or pretty much somebody that can actually deal with anything that the fate or their job or their relationship can throw at them because you are pretty much agile and uh, not just only agile but very very adaptable capable to let go of concepts that you have clinged in uh, till yesterday say but now as if as if this concept does not prove any sense or it does not serve any purpose you can't just let go of it so instead of being stubborn people were seeing you being very uh, suitable it is the word that i was trying to say here and by being suitable to anything that it is going on around pretty much you can make something out of everything that it is um, that pretty much the universe offers you so it's like um, i don't know how to how to really say it guys but um, you know these people that can all, always regardless of what kind of a situation they're in they always end up on the upper hand well that kind of an individual it is how people are going to see you and they will have an impression in you and the last one it is the guidance here that Tara is offering so we do have the page of swords uh, page of swords is a very controversial card in term of uh, in term of uh, of guidance because uh, it pretty much points that um, while everybody will share your vision okay for how you should proceed forward 
oh man is going to really understand it so to to share it is one thing or to know it is one thing to understand it is completely completely another and uh, for that reason uh, many will try to give you you know guidance advice the problem is it is that all of that guidance and all of that advice are going to be pretty much fictions and fallacies they are not going to be facts so here as a guidance with the page of swords is very important not to miss or to mistake fictions for a fact but every time when an information comes to you you got to place it against what you know to be true another thing with the page of swords it is that do not uh, how can i say it well do not end up in a uh in, in rangos that's uh that's the other guidance that uh, the card gives you so that being said, uh, Cancer, that was your weekly general tarot reading for a May 25th to uh, May 31st, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you are interested in a private reading, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase a search and uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.